Hello everybody and welcome back here at Adobe Live. I'm your host Clady and uh, we are here today for a new stream about the wonderful Creative Cloud Express. So if you've not heard of Creative Cloud Express by now, you probably should go and check out the wonderful YouTube channel filled with tips and so many how-to tutorial and inspirational videos to, uh, that, that will help you to create and make standout graphics using this wonderful new free app available on desktop and on your mobile. And for those of you who can already recognize in the chat, I can see Andreas, Kimi, Sam, Annika, Corrado, Michelle, thank you so much for joining. I can see some familiar faces, so you definitely know what Creative Cloud Express is all about. If you're growing your business, starting a side hustle, well, that's the perfect place where you can make standout graphic quickly and easily from your mobile or from your desktop. So let me go ahead and show you real quick what we've been creating during this week already. We've been focusing on a bakery. So we are making content for bakery um, a couple of weeks ago. We created content for a yoga studio. So it doesn't really matter what your business is all about. What it matters is that you, even if you're not a designer, can make standout graphic that will get your business noticed and will get you customers. So today we're gonna to be working on a social media graphic. Um, I'm probably gonna start from an Instagram story, but feel free to use the chat, both on BNs or YouTube, to um, ask me any question. And of course, uh, to let me know if you have any specific requests. So I'm going to jump real quick into my screen because I want to show you the main landing page for this wonderful new app. Here it is. Here we are on the beautiful Creative Cloud Express. You can access it by heading on adobe.com slash express. That's the place where you can get more information about how to use uh, uh, this wonderful app. What is this all about? And as you can see, the tagline is express it. Yeah, because if you have an idea, if you have a business, all you gotta do is to express it easily and quickly. Thank, thanks, thanks to <laughs> Creative Cloud Express. And again, for those of you who don't know me, I am Clady. I'm an Italian designer based in Manchester, UK. Let me know where you're watching from. We are live on Adobe Live as usual. Safe wonderful community. I was watching Amazing Sean before and there, were, there was Annika. I can see some other people uh, from the chat as well. Andreas, beautiful, beautiful community here at Adobe Live to learn together. Fantastic. So uh, let me see if there is any question and don't forget uh, to jump and subscribe on YouTube. I'm going to be reading the YouTube chat as well. So hopefully if you're on YouTube, uh, you're joining in and you're tuning in to learn more. Again, on the main landing page, you can get to have a, a little bit of a view about what Creative Cloud Express is all about. And you can see all these wonderful templates because we're going to start today using a wonderful template. So easy to use. They're beautiful, filled with images, text, and so many other things that you can also customize in order to create your perfect graphic that will help your business grow. Um, so again, something else that is worth mentioning are the collages and remix of images and graphic and illustration. There's so much, so much great content. And of course, the integration with fonts, fonts at adobe.com, bold, eye-catching fonts to make sure that your text is readable, fun, and beautiful. But let's jump and make some wonderful um, social media. Look how beautiful these are. Let's go ahead. Hopefully we can make something as beautiful together. Uh, but before we get started, as I promised, I was going to do a little recap. We are midweek. As I said, we've been focusing on creating um, social media marketing for a bakery. So we started uh, the very first day by creating different logos. And those are some of the different options that we created in under 30 minutes. Isn't that super cool? Uh, but let me see in the chat. In the meantime, I can see um, Photoshopper shop. Can see me like leaning in because I don't have my glasses today. Actually, I can give you a cloudy glasses moment. Here we go. Um, so uh, I can see Photoshopper stop and we W P K D. Uh, fantastic, lovely to see you here. David Hopkins, Michelle Salman, clever. Welcome, Rohit. Namaste, welcome from India. Fantastic. Let me know where you're watching from. Odari in the chat. Beautiful. Let's get started. 
let's get started. We don't need, we can drop the glasses for now. Uh, so as you, as I was going to show you, those are some of the logo that we created together. Uh, and uh, we have experimented. The beauty here is that we can experiment as much as we want and we can always select one of specific logos. And also, uh, by creating different applications for your logo, we can also understand why and what not to use. So it can be a learning curve for not designers as well. Not only you can make standout graphics, but you can go ahead and edit them as well. Beautiful. Um, so let's go ahead and jump inside our lovely uh, main Creative uh, Cloud Express. And again, the main link to jump into the app from your web browser is express.adobe.com or download the app on your mobile and you can also follow along. Perfect. So um, as I showed you there, we created our logo. You can go and watch the replay on YouTube if you want to learn how to make your standout logo. And then yesterday we uh, went and created a flyer, two different flyers. I usually show you different methods because we can start for template or use these beautiful uh, graphic groups like we did yesterday. But today it's all about social media. So let's start by using our super useful search bar here. And let's go ahead and just search for social media. So in the search bar, you can literally type anything you want in order to um, have a, a Creative Cloud Express narrowing down for you um, the selection. In this case, by selecting social media, we have an overview of the many different social media templates available for us. As I said, they are pretty gorgeous and pretty much ready to go. Um, so we can literally choose whichever one we want to get started. Uh, you can also narrow down your research and perhaps uh, look for something that is related to your industry. Look at here. There are so many categories, Instagram posts, stories. So you can also narrow down your selection in templates, depending on the channel that you're creating for. So as I said, we're going to start with Instagram stories, uh, but you can choose Instagram posts, Facebook posts, and you can literally cr create throughout your social media just to make sure that also your business as a consistent and coherent look in order to communicate effectively with your customers. Uh, Frank Baum in the chat. Nice to see you. Clever. Hi, this is interesting. Although I'm not super social online, you can just use it to promote anything that you do. You can promote your art. You can promote your own channels, depending on what you do uh, or your business. Uh, Johao in the chat. Uh, from Brazil, beautiful. Where about in Brazil? I visited only once. Um, I was in Rio and then I went in another beautiful place that I don't remember, but it was around Rio. Um, and I went to paint during uh, the, the soccer world, football world cup. Right. So, um, let's go back and pick one of these template. And there is something that I want to bring to your attention because no matter again, like if social media is not your thing, you want to try a flyer, you want to try different templates, just go ahead and type it. But if you're creating for web, keep your eyes for the play button. And I'm going to go ahead and show you here. So this is the little icon. There's a little play icon here just above my head. Here it is. And if we click on it, look what happens. So this template is actually animated because you don't need to be a designer. You don't need to be an animator, but you can create and make uh, very easily these animated assets. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, click on create from this template in order to edit your template. And uh, you can see right away that we have this beautiful effect with uh, the first. So first of all, we can notice that there are two layers of text. That's what I usually try to do when I use a template. <clears throat> I try to recognize what sort of assets are there. So then I can go ahead and personalize it. So uh, the first thing will be, for example, to personalize your text. And uh, all you have to do in order to personalize your text is to click on it. In this case, once we click, we have a blue bounding box around it that let us know right away that we're working with a group. So you can either double click in order to access the element in the group and every single element that is not grouped as a white bounding box. So a little bit of a tip there. Blue bounding box are for grouped elements and white bounding box are for single elements. So you can either double click on it and then type whatever you want here in the edit text. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, just say made with love every day. Actually, let's 
let's use the word baked. So baking with love um, every day. And that can be our little tagline. Oops. What happened? Something went wrong with my internet. All we have to do is to literally refresh and we're back where we left. So as you can see, that's the beauty of working uh, live and to working on a browser that was literally happening right here. My internet went for a second and we still have uh, these um, ready to go. So again, all I was saying, we can use the text um, made with love every day. And again, you can use whatever you want. It doesn't have to be the specific text. You can literally use any text that relate to your business. And then I'm going to press command A and command C to copy this little text that I've created here on the edit text box. And then all I have to do is to then access the other text, the yellow one. But what if I want to ungroup and just make sure that I can work with each one of these elements? Just simply click on the group and then go ahead and select ungroup. Every time that you select one element in the canvas, you will see here in the panel just behind me that these um, different elements will change in order to allow you to perform edits. So now that it's ungrouped, you can go ahead and select one of the elements. Again, looks like it's grouped again. So again, I'm going to go ahead and ungroup. And again, I could tell that because we still had some blue bounding box. Now we're back with white and we know that that means that we are working with a single element. Fantastic. Now we can see that those are a different size. In order to resize it, just make sure to click and drag on one of the corner of the bounding box. And you can also uh, use here uh, that different, that the little size next to the style for your character. So I'm going to uh, use a 156 and then select on the other one and type 156. And that it's going to make sure that we have the same size. But before moving into the animation, I want to show you another super way, super cool way of editing your text. So once you create your text, there are different ways in which we can align it. Uh, we worked with curved text while creating our uh, main logo in the very first day. But look at this. There is a magic capitalize and fit, which creates what we call type lock. So those are like locked um, shapes that contain the type. And it just makes sure that all the text is uh, uh, adjusted and justified so it fits within the specific shapes. And we're going to do the same here with the other uh, text. So uh, now all we're left to do is to select them both by clicking and holding the shift key on your keyboard and using our align horizontally to the center and align vertically to the center. Now, in this case, the text uh, is overlapping. So once we go here where it says animation and we can go ahead and click on any of these beautiful animations. So for example, we can have um, these typewriter. It can be quite cool because it just kind of gives us the idea that we have first one color coming in and then the other color coming in. Um, or if we move into dynamic, we see that, you know, a different way of dynamically bring the text and it almost feels like it's filling in twice. Uh, but I just wanted to give it a little bit more of a hump by giving it also this almost, you know, um, 3D look by overlapping and then moving them together. I'm actually going to group them again. And in order to do so, click and drag over the two shapes. So they're both selected. Selected. See, we have two wide bounding box and then click on group. And then you can simply click and drag any of the corner of the bounding box in order to um, in order to make sure that you resize it of the size that you prefer. And then by clicking and dragging inside the canvas, we will have this purple smart guides, which I'm going to zoom in so we can really see They will help you to center your design inside the canvas. So they are actually pretty, pretty useful. Sandrine, hi, passing by. Lovely to see you. Christelle, thank you so much for joining. Uh, lovely to have you here. Again, if you have any questions, I can see Anina. Um, or oh, Amina, sorry, in the chat, as I say, I'm not wearing my glasses on YouTube. Go ahead and join us on YouTube to make sure that uh, you get your question answered. And of course, subscribe to the channel. There is a ton of more inspirational content in there as well. Time is ticking. So let's go ahead and finish this off. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit smaller so we can use the line that we have in there. Uh, around the text and again follow your smart guidelines all we're left to do uh smart guides not guidelines but <laughs> i guess it's the same we're going to use our uh, uh sentence that we used yesterday for our bakery almost as if it's a tagline which is uh fresh and tasty 
and because it looks quite big you can either keep it like that and maybe um or maybe just add something else like every day i really want to push the everyday concept to make sure that we know that we are uh, baking every day and now just a couple things left our logo is actually a circular logo so all i'm left to do is to go to under our logos make sure that from our design we click on the three dots in order to select the brand options and switch brand again if you don't know what i'm talking about here with the brand watch yesterday well we created a flyer yesterday just simply type on youtube flyer creative cloud express or cloudy and you'll get the replay to uh, learn how to create a brand and how to leverage all these beautiful brand assets that we created yesterday so we can go ahead and use our primary logo and insert it here instead of our little circle here it is boom they're ready to uh, be used and if you want to delete the rest all you have to do is select it from uh, our layer which is sitting right there next to me here it is come almost touch it and then go ahead and click on the delete so we got rid of the other yellow dot and we implemented with our yellow from the brand but what if now the other colors are matching we have a lighter yellow and then a darker yellow well because we already loaded our brand all we're left to do is to select the elements that we wish to the color again double click blue bounding box that means that we're working with a group make sure that we select the shapes and by clicking on color we can go ahead and use the eyedropper in order to select the color of our brand and we can also add it so it's now part of our uh, main icon color for rice and bake uh, and we can do exactly the same with the text double click to enter the isolation mode and make sure that we change the yellow into the same brand yellow and we're almost done i'm probably going to go ahead and change the logo as i said you know work and learning uh, we create a logo it was nice and big when we created but maybe it needs to be darkened right there so we can do that in just a second i'm going to show you how to do that hopefully we have time we have still three minutes before doing so uh, what i want to show you about this instagram uh, asset is that you can use it over and over again because you can simply change the background and in this case i'm going to go ahead and choose an image and by the way you can search adobe stock and i'm going to just place bakery and choose any of the images available here so i'm just going to go ahead and select um, one of the images that i can find here let's see if we find a little bit of pastry here it is uh, you can click on it and of course resize it and choose it choose to use it at whatever size you want so i'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger so we have a little bit of a cake going on and you can check the animation again and as i said i'm going to choose a dynamic animation and it's the second effect and we should be able to preview that live just real quick sometimes all you have to do if it doesn't preview is just to uh select another animation and then go back to the one that you want to work with and here it is it's pretty much ready to go and the beauty as i said is that we can reuse that as many times as you want first of all let's name our project and let's call it um raise and bake uh, eg story uh, but what if you have a photo that you take with your phone well very simple here once we select our image all we have to do is to click on replace and then from here from photos uh, we can go ahead and choose our own photos uh, so let me actually do that real quick i'm actually going to remove this background image here it is it should just go in a second um oh actually sorry i was actually removing the background of the image i'm going to go ahead and use the delete and what we can do here by selecting photos is to upload one of our image here it is that's what i was looking for the upload photo button will allow you to browse your own library so here i can have any of the photos that i took i love this one of these beautiful loaves of bread so again it can be any photo that you've taken from your phone just make sure to click and drag on the corner of the bounding box so it fits nicely and covers the entire background just like so i'm just going to bring it to the center and make sure that it fits inside my instagram story and then i'm going to select the layer and look just boop, drag it here at the bottom and again i'm going to go ahead into my animation and sample it real quick uh to to see how it looks like i think that's absolutely lovely again you can choose 
any of this wonderful animation, go ahead and have a play. There is so much that you can do here uh, in terms of also uh, changing color. So you can have a shuffle of color uh, for your brand. That's absolutely up to you. You can have a fade effect. So your text kind of fades in. But as I said, how do we change our brand icon? So first of all, I'm going to go back and first look. Our project is already saved because we're working on a web browser. Everything gets saved as we go, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to go ahead here and head to my brands and find, uh, um, first of all, I think that I already created a modified version of the logo with a, a darker effect, because as I said, you can always go and edit any of your projects. So all I've done here is select the text and then uh, selected a different color. Then I'm going to go ahead and download it and I download it as a PNG because that will allow me to retain transparency. So transparent PNG, that's the one that I'm looking for. And I'm going to call it bakery logo uh, darken. Dark. And I'm going to click on save. And then I'm going to jump into my main home page. So look at this. I'm creating logo, editing logo, create a social media asset, jump into my brand. There is so much that you can do. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and manage the brand and I'm going to add another logo, which will be the darker version of my logo. Here it is. Click on open in order to save it and that will be automatically added to your logo. So once this is done, I can close, head back to my projects and go ahead and select the project that we were just uh, creating, which is our Instagram story. And as I said, there was not enough contrast. So by creating these uh, um, uh, animation and this Instagram story, we actually seen that the logo uh, wasn't correct. So all I have to do now is to head the logos. As you can see, it's already been updated to our darker version. And boom, let's click on it. And let's simply bring it back and uh, uh, cover the one that we don't want to use. And I would done before, select it from our layers and delete. Now, before I say goodbye, we have like one minute, maybe less. Make sure to click on download and download as an MP4 video in order to retain your animation and uh, feel free to use it on your Instagram. Uh, by the way, it's super, super easy to do that also on mobile. Go ahead and check it out. The beauty of working on mobile is that you can also, of course, push it right away inside your social media. So if you were working right away on Instagram, you can go ahead and publish it on your Instagram story as well, which I think is super cool. And here it is. I'm going to go ahead and open it. I know that we're like literally have few seconds left, but I want to play it. That's the way that it's going to play on your social media. This is the animation that we picked at the end. It just kind of fades in. But again, you can pick any animation as you want and you can go back and edit that just simply by clicking on animation and go back on dynamic and select uh, the animation that you prefer. Here it is. I think that was the one that we preferred. Beautiful. Unfortunately, time is already gone. I cannot believe it. I will be here with you tomorrow in order to create um, more marketing material using Creative Cloud Express. Don't forget to go ahead and follow the YouTube page, subscribe to the YouTube page and grab a glass of water and come back on Adobe Live. There is a ton of wonderful, fun content coming up. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me. As usually, it's been a blast and have a wonderful creative day here on Adobe Live. Bye, everybody.